And broadcasting live from our studios in Moscow, this is RT. First to our breaking news this hour, a fire at a psychiatric hospital in Mo the Moscow region has left at least 38 people dead. The blaze reportedly started in a wing providing special treatment to patients. For more on this tragedy, let's cross live to RT's Tom Barton, who joins us on the phone. Tom, thank you very much for being with us. Now, what do we know so far about this tragedy? Hi there, Sean. Uh at the moment, the, uh, the death toll uh, estimated by authorities is 38. That could rise, they say, to 41. Uh, that was the number of people that they think were in the building at the time. The psychiatric hospital outside Moscow in the village of Ramanskoye. It, about 3 a.m. in the morning, uh, the fire started, most probably, most probably from an electrical fault, um, short-circuit wiring in the building. The... By the time the emergency services arrived, the entire one-story building was engulfed in flames. And they say they found uh, about 12 bodies uh, at the, as of uh, at the moment. Uh, four of those are near the uh, entrance to the building, eight of those in one of the wards. Unfortunately, uh, say sources at the scene, uh, there are bars on many of the windows in this hospital there to prevent uh, patients escaping, but in this case, uh, stopping them from escaping uh, from this deadly fire. There was also reports of heroism um, from the scene. Uh, one nurse reportedly at managing to escape and saving two patients from the blaze uh, as well. At the moment, authorities have managed to put out the fire. Uh, they're currently thinking that it is this electrical flaw uh, and they're trying to take stock uh, of all that tragedy uh, at this hospital outside Moscow. All right, Tom, we know that you are uh, en route as well as a satellite crew to get video from the scene and we'll be covering the story as more information becomes available. We'll be coming to you as uh, the day progresses and as the story progresses. Thank you for being with us. Now, uh, for more information on this blaze, we know that this is not the first time a Russian medical facility has claimed lives in fire. For more on this, let's go to RT's Paul Scott, who joins me live in the studio. Uh, Paul, this has happened before. Tell us a little bit of background about uh, hospital fires in Russia. It has. It's becoming a, a little bit of a worrying theme in the last decade or so. There have been 18 cases uh, in just the past seven years of fires in medical facilities. I can uh, sort of run through some of the figures for you now. As you say, tragic blazes in medical facilities increasingly and worryingly common. Uh, one of the most notable was back in 2009 in the Russian Republic of Komi, where a blaze in an old people's home took the lives of 23 people on that occasion. Only three uh, managed to escape there. Two years earlier, in 2007, a fire in the city of Tula, again in a, an elderly people's home, uh, resulted in 32 deaths, but on that occasion, 247 people were able to escape. Uh, and also in 2007, another fire in a care home claimed the lives of 61 victims, uh, and 35 were able to escape. But I suppose uh, this worrying trend first came to the public's attention uh, back in a, a rather tragic weekend in December 2006. The first incident uh, saw 45 people killed, all of them uh, women at a drug treatment hospital. 43 of those victims were patients and two of them were medical staff. Now, the majority of the deaths on that occasion were caused by suffocation, smoke inhalation, uh, because of locked exits and grills on the windows, which is a familiar theme, something we're hearing emerge from the, this, uh, the fire overnight. And on that occasion, the, the, the death toll was put down to gross safety violations. That was what was blamed for the high death toll. 150 people did manage to escape. But I mentioned that it was a tragic weekend because 24 hours later, remember December 2006, uh, nine people were killed and 12 injured in a fire at a mental hospital in Siberia. Uh, 200 patients and 15 staff were on site at times, so uh, around 200 were able to escape. But that was all in, in, in one weekend. And then in January of this year, three patients lost their lives at a hospital in St. Petersburg, and that was caused when a patient dropped a cigarette on a mattress. So it's, it's a worrying trend. I think the, uh, the suggestion that many of the, the mental health facilities, uh, old, old buildings may be neglected, and perhaps the, the health and safety um, and security options aren't what they would be in, in modern buildings. Now, worrying trend indeed. In fact, uh, fire safety regulations have come under scrutiny before in Russia and not just in hospitals. Tell me about some of the other background and some of the other incidents in the country as well. The, the, the most uh, notorious case 
wasn't actually in a in a medical facility. It was uh, it was in a nightclub in uh, in the city of Perm back in uh, December 2009. Uh, the fire was started there when sparks from fireworks ignited the ceiling, and the fire quickly spread uh, to the walls, and that damaged the building's electrical wiring, which which caused the flames to spread and the flames to grow. Now that led to 150 deaths. It is one of the most tragic cases in uh, Russia's history in terms of fires. 150 people died out of uh, the 282 that were on the site mm -hmm. and in the building at the time. Uh, 160 people at the time were said to be injured, but many people died latterly from, from the, the injuries they, they received on the night. So that was, that was the most notorious case back in Perm in, in December 2009. But the, the history with medical facilities and, and mass fires causing mass deaths in, in Russia is unfortunately not a rare story. Right, and I actually was on scene um, for that lame horse uh, event in Perm, and so I remember mm. covering that tragedy. We know that uh, you'll be covering this story, uh, and RT will be covering the story as the day unfolds, as more information becomes available. RT's Paul Scott, thank you very, very much for being with us here in studio.